Well, welcome back, everybody, to more God of War Ragnarok. We're closing in on the norms, hopefully. Oh, no. Definitely something here. It. Ah! Isn't it always the third place you look? Not always. Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections Not what I wanted to do. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. Oh. Oh. Cool. The music that is. Uh oh. Kratos, ghost of Sparta, fate of Olympus, destroyer of fate, cruel striker, bringer of war, weapon of the gods turned against his creators. He chases a redemption he knows he can never deserve. He cannot change. Oh, golly. I'm dead because he's going to pose through. He poised through that. I was not expecting him to do that. Holy crap. That is insane. I Man, I knew he was a big boy, but. Kratos, ghost of Sparta, bane of Olympus, destroyer of fate, cruel striker, bringer of war, weapon of the gods, turned against his creators. Is that what we're supposed to be doing? 67 out of 75. 32 out of 30. Yeah, just those two. He chases a redemption he knows he can never deserve. Change. What you got there, dude? Okay, interesting. Alright, we're done. Now we can just... Oh my goodness, dude. Awesome. Traveler. Travelers are zealous worshippers who follow the path. Mysterious warrior's code that promises glory, glorious fortune and enlightenment awaiting them in Jotunheim. Little do they know that the path is simply an invention of Odin's in order to trick a large number of warriors into finding a way into the home of the giants. They're as strong as they are devout and should never be taken lightly. While the armor of dwar our dwarven friends expertly craft has a certain finesse to them, traveler armor is heavily reinforced and cumbersome. Getting through it is often the biggest challenge in facing these mechanical bastards. Are we in our own minds yet? He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real, too. Cool, so we got all of the... 
Yeah, I know. I got the Guardian's Light armor. We got all of them done. We just gotta have enough XP to get them. I think I have all these done too. Yeah, I just don't have the XP for them either. Pick that up. Here. Getting lots of hex over. Ooh, it's a dead. Whatchamacallit? Freya of the Venue. much defense for sure. Stonewood, Hacksilver. Lady, you're starting to piss me off. Oh, 
Certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mamir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. A phantom! The Norns have a phantom! Of course the Norns have a phantom! Oh. I felt that one, brother. I don't know what I'm doing. I gotta throw my stuff. Down. All right, Phantom Boy. A Phantom! The Norns have a Phantom! Of course the Norns have a Phantom! Oh, 
more health over here, so let's grab this. Watch your left! Where's the last one? Oh, it's almost dead. Never mind. It's over. Time to put it down. Sheesh. Lots of those. Ooh, I'll get these real nice. Oh, you know what? I think I have another one of those I can use too that I forgot about. Chaos Flame, weapon upgrades. Yeah, yo. Yeah. Alrighty, what else we got here? This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. Okay. In the cave ahead. She sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, <laughs> but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you! Babbling! <laughs> he didn't like that, did he? Over here! Come get me! I want none of this! Nimir! Secret! Brother, hold off! Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did! I tried to stop him any way I could! Just lie! Nimir! You served Odin from the day you met to the day he put you in that tree! You sought a favor. You plotted his war. You watched him mistreat everyone and everything. And you never gave a damn until he turned on you. I know, Sultan. It's true. All of it. 
But for love of you, I became a better man. A counselor of the blue. An ally of all those who... Were you an ally to Freya in her suffering? To Skadi? To Rolla? Or to Tanya? No! You only took the side of the powerful fairy! You! Brother, watch out! There's more of us! Even now! You see a violent god in need, and you can't help but aid him and call him brother! It's who you always say! It's who you are! And it's who you always are! It is not her. No. Of course. Uh. You did what you must. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Oh. Mamiya! Mother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! <laughs> and get over there. Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. That's intense. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Have to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. <laughs> Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie oh. I know would do such a thing. Unless he was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? That's cool. <laughs> there were the hippocamps. They served the sea god. I battled one upon a titan. That might not be her favorite subject. Oh, what in the world? Crazy. That's pretty dang cool there. Kelpie. I want a horse that can do that. Our search for the Norns led us to a mystical horse. Mimir called it a Kelpie. It walked upon the water, transformed, and then dove down beneath the surface, carrying us into the Norns inner sanctum. I expect our departure to be no less unpleasant. May the Norns make this journey worthwhile. We're here. Fate's own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Underwater, dude. That's crazy. Oh. 
Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> You know Gold, the huh? child is an Asgard. No, Heard. you see what all who search for us seek to know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. No, oh. oh. he fails. <laughs> You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but you called him the destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must, must be a way to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Park. Protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When my, my son, son was born, born shut up! <laughs> Jeez. Your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what uh. Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act, to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in storycraft. We are yeah, leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Norns. The fates of these realms, their names are Erd, Vero, Nandi, and Skold. I do not know how I know this. Their, their meddling inside my mind is already proving difficult to recall. Yet an uneasy feeling remains. No matter, I remember learning Heimdall is a threat to my son. That is enough. That was educational. <laughs> sure it was. Let us leave this place. Happily. That's better. I can feel things getting more normal already. <laughs> Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. 
The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Mm. <clears throat> Contemplating killing Heimdall, huh? Lots of Dwarven still. I need Asgardians still. Are we in a different spot? That's up there. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. Freaking <laughs> <laughs> cradles. I've killed gods greater than him. Yeah, but do you need to though? Owned metal. Up there. We're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe- The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Yep. And we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. A word of fate completed. There's some XP. Right, so did I just miss this? <laughs> I can't believe I missed that. Oh, the R is not lit now. When was the R? That's the R. Why is the R not lit? That's annoying. But we can fix it real quick. Up. Down. Light and down. One 
more. <laughs> Alright guys. We're going to end it here because we're at 35 minutes and we'll continue on the next one. Hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.